Hey guys, uh, Chopadong here. Quick tutorial on uh, uploading to DraftKings and editing your CSV file. Uh, perhaps what you're going to want open, I guess, first are browser tabs. You're going to want the Domination Station, a Google Doc of some kind, and of course DraftKings. These are the three tabs that you're going to be bouncing between in the browser on your mobile device too, from what I understand. But this, I'm using my PC for this. I know that for your mobile, you probably ought to be doing this in the browser, not the DraftKings app, okay? So, the first thing you're going to do when you run your lineups is you're gonna download that CSV file. Of course, you're going to go to DraftKings into the lineups tab, upload lineups, this is if you don't have any lineup set for the day. Upload from CSV. Upload that file right there, right? Probably in your downloads file on your phone or whatever. And then you're going to go back to the lobby. Once these are all uploaded, you're going to go back to your lobby and start selecting your contests. Pick the slate that you want to enter, whatever prizes you want to enter. If this was the contest, you click enter. It'll pull up 20 being a 20 max contest enter the 20 lineups. If you're going to make 100 lineups for the day, pick another one, enter the same 20 lineups, pick another one, enter the same 20 lineups. And who cares at this point? Okay, these are just placeholders. But once you've got your actual lineups, say I was doing 68 lineups today, so what I have downloaded is 68 lineups in that file right there. I need to go to the contest, you know, to DraftKings again, I need to go to my lineups tab. And I need to edit entries this time. So I've already got those uploaded into contests. I need to edit entries. It will have a number down here like this, you know, so it already knows the slate, already knows the entries, right? I need to scroll down a little bit, click download. That is the CSV template that I'm going to use to swap my good lineups into the, the file I just downloaded, the template, so that I can then re-upload those to DraftKings. Now, the way I do that is I go into a Google Doc. Excel works probably the same way, but Google Docs is free and whatnot. I have a couple of tabs open here. The first tab that I have open is always reserved for those templates. I'm going to import, upload. You can either drag and drop or go into your downloads and pick that file here that is the template. I'm going to upload that template to my Google Doc. I'm going to replace the current sheet or add it new for the first time, whatever. And now I've got all of my contests in here. I've got my entry fee, right? This is all gobbledygook. You don't need to worry about it yet. I'm going to come over to another tab in Google Docs. And I'm going to upload this file, this 082 file. The same way I just did that other one. Import, upload, select file, 082. replace current sheet and now I've got two sets of lineups side by side my old ones in my template and my new ones in another tab ready to go okay now what I need to do is I need to highlight the section that I'm going to that I'm going to the names that I'm going to transfer and I'm going to just copy paste them into from the good file to my template file so drag all the way over under but don't highlight this, right? Don't highlight the headers, just the names. Slide all the way down to all of your names, right? Control C or copy, however you do it on your device. Come over to the template. Ah, dang it. Template tab, which is here. And now don't click here. You start here in this corner here under the first picture. Right there, that's your upper left corner. That's where it gets a little bit confusing. You need to start in the right place because now all I do is paste it in. See how those names changed? And now I can take this and upload it 
I can download this file here as a new CSV file and upload it back to DraftKings. This is something you're going to have to do probably two or three times to get the hang of it. I'll show you one little trick that you can do um, when you're ready for it. But being that these are already highlighted and I've got some dime and some quarter contests, I don't want them in the exact order the optimizer spit them out with my stacks and everything else. I want to shuffle them up. So I actually will use data, randomize range. See how those names changed a little bit? Shuffle them up two or three times. I, I don't, to me, it just makes more sense to have them all kind of mixed and matched. I don't know which one's going to hit big in the quarters. And I don't want all of my good lineups hitting in the dime and not hitting in the corner, into the quarters. I want some of them kind of doing, you know, different stuff here and there. It's just how I play. It's a little bit more random, but we're playing baseball, so it's random anyway. When I'm done with that, I will download CSV file. See, it gives me a new one here. I will go back to DraftKings. And now that I have that template already in place, and it's got my new lineups in it, and it's re-downloaded, I'm going to upload this file here as my new CSV file. And that's this one here. Bang, 68 have been successfully uploaded. So hopefully you can run through this video a couple of times and get a hang of how to do it on any device. All you're essentially doing, downloading a template, putting that in a Google Doc, downloading your current CSV file from the domination station, putting that in a Google Doc, copy-pasting your lineups from the domination station into that template, and then re-downloading that template as a new CSV file and uploading that new CSV file into DraftKings. It sounds way more complex than it is. Once you go through the motions a few times, it'll just become a piece of cake. You'll be able to edit 150 or 300 lineups on DraftKings and then go to FanDuel and do the same thing in probably five to ten minutes time it just it doesn't take long and you can really ride contests right up to lock as you're uploading contests and get all of the latest information make your changes and rock and roll so hopefully that helps you and i will talk to you later